there's a lot of like, you know, a lot of that. Oh. Chicks loves. <laughs> Oh my god! I love you. No, that's not a joke. <laughs> hey guys! So I'm super excited because I'm on my way to Lara's Bakery. She's a friend of mine, she's an opera singer, and she also recently started her own little bakery in Islington. So I'm biking there, I'd better get going. But if you haven't checked out the previous interviews, there's one with my boyfriend Gabriel Isolos and there's one with Chalice Joanna Podanova. So go check those out after this video. But first, let's go on our way to Lara's Bakery. See you guys in a minute! Once upon a time, there was a little girl who, if she wanted, you know, her parents' attention, she'd climb on the table and get her violin out. Uh, then she realised she had a singing voice and was good on stage, was a good performer, so she went into opera. And then COVID happened, and then she turned to baking, is, and is now the opera singer turned baker, and is feeding her community. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. What's your name? I'm Lara. What's your favourite colour? Ooh. Purple. Do you have a spirit animal? And if yes, what is it? Butterfly. Where are we right now? Where are we right now? We are in my sort of kitchen living space and also now bakery. First of all, this is my uh, my new big purchase, which is Ooh. my proper bread oven. It's and it has these beautiful stones that so cooks them properly. Wow. And then I've got How hot does it get? Up to 300, 300 degrees. And then my bannetons, which is what I put my um, my breads in to rest. Oh, my other purchase is this beautiful mixer oh where gosh. I mix all my dough. Oh, and this thing. What does that, that is, do? <laughs> it's a garden spray. Oh yeah. yeah. Which is normally what you put pesticides in and spray, you know, spray <laughs> spray the weeds. But um, it's how I get steam in my bread oven. What did the cheese say in the mirror? I'm looking fatter or something like that. Hello me! Hello me! <laughs> <laughs> What's your star sign? It's cancer. A word on my ear? It's wow. all like, I'm tone deaf. And it's quite a funny song. Huh. Well, it's not really fun. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> What's your favorite baking memory? Ah, oh, um, probably with my German grandmother in Germany who is a phenomenal cook. She would make the dough herself and, we'd, and I think we'd, you know, we'd have apples from the garden. So yeah, actually a lot of baking memories in from Germany. Nice. Probably the raspberry and custard pruffin. Ooh. What would you bring to a desert island? My bread oven. Probably San Francisco. Favorite ice cream flavor? Yogurt. Oh, what are they called? You know those wiry, stretchy things? Slinky. Yeah. Favorite book? I Capture the Castle by Jodie Smith. What would you do on a perfect lazy day? I would probably have a lion, um, have a coffee, go back to bed. Um, if it was sunny, I'd lie in the sun. I love mm. the sun. Oh. Um, and have a meal with a couple of friends and probably have a glass of wine. Mm. <laughs> Favourite city? Amsterdam is up there. Do I have a hobby? I love yoga. I do a lot of yoga. Um, I cycle a lot. Well, baking was a hobby and is now, you know, business. I mean, because there isn't a word for it in English, but gezellig. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I would say I'm probably an extrovert. What's the biggest problem with the world right now? <clears throat> well, that everything's been locked down <laughs> and that we're not able to move freely. Um, and I really worry about the arts. I really, really worry about, you know, how things are going to re-establish themselves and, mm. and find a new find a new way of of functioning because if we don't do anything about it then you know it might might never fully come back chocolate or cheese oh cheese Concert Concert in Amsterdam. yeah so which part of london are we in we are in ah uh, it's a tricky area it's like i would say it's islington but we're between king's cross and angel and bordering clerkenwell 
English, I think, really to express myself, but I mean, Dutch is so ingrained in my roots and my like, you know, the 15 years I spent there. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? To teleport. To open a little bakery somewhere. What's your favorite thing to make? I do actually like making pastries. It is a very labor intensive process because you have to laminate the dough with the butter and roll it out and fold it and rest it. But it's quite magical when I then do the final rolling out and roll my little croissant and then watch them prove. How did you learn to bake? I taught myself. It's, I bought a couple of books during lockdown and watched a couple of videos, but I mainly taught myself. If you could, would you go to the moon? Absolutely. I would go to the moon like Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> and eat lots of cheese. And eat lots of cheese. <laughs> Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or TikTok? Instagram. Who is your favorite non-classical musician? Oh my God. I mean, I love jazz. Um, Sarah Vaughan, London Grammar. I mean, these are all random artists. Who do I want to be remembered for? Being full of life, being positive, bringing laughter into a situation, um, making a change. Family is really important to me. Um, I guess my grandmother was, was a big role model. Um, and I think my mum is too, even if she can't be, can't be here with us now. I just know that we were really close. There's a real sort of in, like closeness. Um, and my grandmother. Um, many memories. Also memories where she'd sort of, you know, look down at me and they'd say, darling, really? Is that a good idea? <laughs> um, <laughs> Coffee or tea? Coffee. <laughs> Favourite movie? I mean, I, I just love Notting Hill. Me too. It's That's such a good film. It's such a good feel-good film. Anything with Richard Curtis. Can you quote a line from the movie? Well chosen briefs. Chicks love grey. <laughs> What's your favourite exercise? Uh, yoga and cycling and walking. That's, well, that's three of them. <laughs> Where are you from? I am English and half German and grew up in Holland and live in London with family all around the world. <laughs> Something you'd love to do, but you're afraid of? <sighs> Jump out of a plane, you know, the... Skydiving? Skydiving. Because I'm not, I'm not massively good on heights, but I think it would be a pretty cool thing to do. Determined. Passionate. Quite emotional. Filming my uh, my fundraising video. What's a country you'd like to visit? Japan. What's your favorite song? I'm obsessed with this one song that I listen to um, either in the mornings on a Saturday when I start baking, and it's Black Coffee by Sarah Vaughan. What's your favorite type of bread? Sourdough, of course. <laughs> I have a mountain named after me. <laughs> What is your favourite thing about life? The unexpected. If you could do anything right now, what would it be? Probably go on holiday, go somewhere sunny. <laughs> What's your favourite season? Summer. Anyone who wants to be a baker, no, you need no. time and patience are the, thing, are the key things. Time and patience and just trying things over and over and over again until you find consistency, until you find something that works. Just trial and error, trying stuff out over and over again. What would you say baking and music have in common? Patience um, and practice. Practice makes perfect. It's never the same. Every concert, every rehearsal is never the same. Every loaf of bread is never the same. What are you most excited about right now? Um, 
I'm most excited about where my business is going right now. Um, it's changing week by week and I just can't wait to see what the future will, will hold. What's your favorite thing about your business? That I get to meet new people almost every week. And um, how can people get bread from your bakery? You can order through social media, through Instagram and Facebook, or send me an email, uh, larasbakerylondon at gmail.com. Um, and you come and collect. Did you have a fun time today? I did. Thank you. A really fun time. Thank Yo. you. <laughs> So that's it guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I had a really fun time getting to know Lara and seeing her bakery, and I hope you did too. If you want to support her, go to laramariemuller.com and check out all the information there. Hope to see you soon, and if you haven't yet, send me your videos for my Young Violinist Challenge. I'll link all the info down below. Hope to see you soon, bye! <laughs>